What's the crack? What's the bleeding story? How are you doing? Hope you're well. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm annoyed. I'll put it that way, and I'll put it lightly. Um, the performance last night. The excuses afterwards as well from Arteta. Um, let's talk about the performance, I suppose. I was expecting a two nil, three nil. I, I, I didn't even give them a goal, you know what I mean? Because I just thought we would have dominated the game. Um, got a bit of morale boost for the game on Sunday, the big huge game against Liverpool. Um, we didn't get that. It was an awful game. Awful performances from a lot of the players. <clears throat> Average, like you know, Martinelli, give or take, Raya. You know, great save. Ray actually made a brilliant save during the game. But, you know, it, it is worrying that, you know, that we, we had a performance like that. At, at home. And the excuses that have been already made, like. And I, I just, like, once I heard Arteta, what he said in the press conference, of him saying... Oh, like the players, some of them have to come from Brazil over the internationals and stuff like this. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll just park that there, right? And I'll dissect that bit, okay? There is other top teams in the Champions League who have international players who are not only from Brazil, you know what I mean? Who, who travel all over the world. It's not just Arsenal. It's not, ju it's not just limited to Arsenal. And if that's a problem, with Brazilian players and, and they're flying halfway around the world and coming back. Don't fucking sign them then. If that's the fucking problem, stop making excuse after excuse after excuse. I'm fucking sick of it. You swear we're the only fucking team that has international players on it. Let me talk about Aston Villa. Fucking smoked Bologna. And a good Bologna team, by the way. They done really well last year. Smoked them 2 0 last night. Alright. Oh, but they, they they don't have many international. No, they do. They have a lot of international players. What happened to them the weekend? They had. They had. But they played Villa away. They, sorry, they played. Villa played Fulham away. Okay, so what did their players have to do? So their players that were on international duty from Africa, from South America, from across Europe, stuff like that. They had to then go back to Villa Park or whatever they, they go, whatever their training ground name is. Go back there, get ready for the game, and then go to London. Get a bus or another airplane, whatever way they get to the fucking game. You know what I mean? So they had the same routine as Arsenal. We had Bournemouth away, South Coast. You know what I mean? But no, it, we, we lose Aston Villa B Fulham 3-1. Why is that? Do you know what I mean? We're comparing two teams. Champions League. Two teams, Champions League. Two teams had to travel. But we have to use this almighty excuse. I'm just fucking sick of it. Performance was not good enough. You know? And we're, 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 we're led to believe that... You know? Oh yeah, we're, we're going to put in a, a great performance against Liverpool. I don't think we will now. I just I worry about it because of the simple fact that Liverpool are flying. They're doing well. I can see them coming to the Emirates and and putting in a performance and probably beating us. That's my prediction. I don't know the score yet. It might change with it whatever, but it's just you have to look at the the uh, injuries. Calafiore, Saliba suspended. Um, fucking Ben fucking Ben 10 fucking going off he had a tingle or whatever the fuck he had he could be a, another injury case Timber didn't train Saka didn't train what, what, what's the story with the, with the with the training methods or what? what is it you know what I mean and this is the thing that concerns me um, you know Calafiore going off injured not that he done fucking well in the game or anything like that, or he hasn't really fucking caught my eye this season at all. You know, and it, it, is he the right signing? Give him time, Dell. We don't have time. 
we don't have time to mess around because as I said and a lot of people have said and not just me but this team has to win a major competition this year and as it stands now we're in the middle of October it doesn't look that way the league performances isn't great the Champions League performances isn't great Shakhtar Donetsk they're not the best team in Europe we'll be coming up against better you know and and it, we're already using excuses and we're five years into Arteta's reign of management the process five years I'm waiting since 2000 and fucking four since or 2002 since the last time we won the league excuse after excuse I'm just sick of it just fucking stop with the excuses man up as a team and just fucking roll your sleeves up and get stuck in because the Villa performance and I'm comparing again to Villa because they had the exact same game give or take an hour or two in difference and they had to travel you know oh, it's just frustrating frustrating the life of me but you know it, it does just come down to bad management bad signing because the thing that round me up this morning was the whole thing, oh, Brazil and stuff like this, Brazilian players, um, don't sign them then. Who signed them, the Brazilian players? Oh, yeah, it do from Brazil. You know what I mean? There is other countries that they can be signed from. Um, yeah, I, I just cannot believe it that we, we, we've come to this and maybe top gooners thinking, yeah, this is the year we're going to challenge. What if it's not the year? You know what I mean? And the media are all in. Oh, if you go on and you, you, you look on, on, on talk sport and any, anything else and an Arsenal supporter comes on and you just go, yeah, that's it, Arteta's done. Oh, you're crazy, blah, blah, blah. Of course they're going to say that. I say it about Ten Hag all the time to my United mates and everyone else. Taking the piss. That's what I do. Just taking the piss. The media, like your man Cundy and Jamie O'Hara, Sport Chelsea and uh, Spurs. Why wouldn't they say that? You know what I mean? I just think that the, 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 the fans need to demand a bit more. Um, it's just been shambolic. They need to turn it around quickly. Um, but no, as again, if Liverpool beat us on Sunday, injuries, suspension, given time, not for me. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new around here. Take care and God bless you all.